hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how to convert uh, a series of images which are present inside the same directory into a video we will be generating a video from a series of images inside ffmpg basically it will be a slideshow so there is many a times that you want to create a slideshow from a series of images so here i will be showing you let me show you the end product that uh, we will be building here let me open this video which is built using this series of images inside vlc media player you can see that this is the video here uh, if i play it uh, the command is pretty simple let me show you the first of all the command i have written a complete blog post this is a blog post here on codingsiksha.com you can find this blog post in the description of this live stream go to the description and you will find this blog post so the command is pretty simple guys you will be providing the frame per second which is frame rate this totally depends upon the speed on which the video will be present let me write this command guys so inside the images folder you can see all these images are present here this can be any image of your choice so jpg png bmp any extension of images can be there so now let me write this command here ffmpg command to generate a video from a series of images so here we will provide the frame rate value guys so this can be anything 25 50 75 this is called as fps frames per second so higher the value that you provide lesser time the faster the video will be but i will provide here 10 and then i will provide the input file so this will be multiple images so we need to provide the pattern here so basically you can see I have renamed my files here in a such a pattern that hostel-0, hostel-1, hostel-2, hostel-3. So this is a pattern you can see here in all the images. So that way we can uh, use this pattern here which is available inside uh, FFMPG which is hostel- dash, and here we can just write here percentage sign D dot png because all the images present here are png that's why we are writing dot png and uh, in place of 0 1 2 3 we are automatically looping through the images 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 using this uh, special operator which is uh, percentage d so you can see that 0 1 2 3 4 and now after that guys we need to provide the output file name this will be called as movie.mp4 you can also create as avi also but i will create mp4 so now you can see that guys the command will run here automatically this will create the video for us from the series of images this will be a slideshow of images one image will be present after the another so now it is completed now we can check our slideshow you can see it has created this file here which is 7 megabytes and it is containing 20 seconds of video footage so i can now open this with the vlc media player you can see that how uh, quickly it is doing through it is not the way by which we want to get this you can see it is looping through all the images and it is very fast it is very fast you can see that how fast it is doing this so it is you can totally control this using frame per second value which is frame rate how you really need to go to it so it is very fast here so we don't need this we need to have some time after which the second image comes so now to we can modify this command guys so you can decrease the frame rate value by one let's suppose i pro provide one here so now the video length will be larger you will see that one minute 33 second one minute two it is two minute 16 second so now you can see that now there will be the video will be slow 13 megabytes is there 3 minute 23 seconds so if i now open this now you will see there is some kind of delay which is there so now you can clearly see each image and there is some kind of delay here so this is the video guys slideshow video, uh, video that you can generate from a series of images you have seen these in powerpoint presentations in companies uh, in uh, uh, various YouTube videos as well when they show a series of images and the song is playing in the background so you have seen these slideshows as well 
so in this way you can do it inside ffmpg without using th uh, any sort of third party plugin or third party library it is built in in ffmpg i have shown you this command you can see that this is exactly three minute long video and you can see each image you can see clearly some kind of delay is there you can see that so in this way guys you can create the slideshow mp4 video from a series of png and jpg images now the second thing that i want to show you in this video there is a special concat demuxer uh, filter which is available inside uh, ffmpg with the help of this you can even control the amount of seconds which is there between specific image so if you just write here concat demixer this is the basically here you create a text file just explicitly telling the image and the type of delay that you want so in the blog post i have written the concat demixer command here so basically what you need to do is that you need to create a text file so inside this text file guys there will be a file and the delay how much delay you want so what we can do is that we can create a file here file.txt and i will paste it so basically what it is telling the ffmpg here here you need to provide the path here of the image so path we can provide here the first image will be hostel dash zero and then we can provide here hostel dash one png and then we can provide here hostel dash three png sorry this needs to be two and this will i will provide here hostel dash three and lastly we will write here hostel dash four so this is the text file guys here we are providing the images this will be one two three four five so only we are providing five images and then the second parameter here which which is the duration so this means that uh, how much long you want to show this image in the video this is the delay here this this image will be shown for 5 seconds this image will be shown for 1 second let me take it to 2 this image will be shown for 10 seconds this image will be shown for the last image will be shown for 15 seconds so this is the custom delay that you can even provide here using this concat demixer so now to generate the video guys there is this command here which i have written here you can go to the blog post simply copy this command and right here paste it inside your command line so here you can change the file name to file.txt so now it is saying that file.txt it is saying that some kind of error is there guys so width not visible dis, divisible by 2 maybe incorrect parameters such as bit rate i think i have provided a wrong value here that's why it is uh, which is not divisible by 2 oh sorry here let me you need to put the numbers which are divisible by 4 oh, sorry 2 so let me make it as 14 so now let me see if it is working i don't know why it is there was a command guys that is written here so i don't know why it is having this error but uh, this is the concat demixer command this is the way by which you can do it so just check it inside your system if it is work then it comment on this video and thanks very much for watching this video please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well